Hi, I'm Jennifer of CelticKnotCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to steam block your motifs for the Spring Blossoms necklace. Uh, this technique I use for a variety of projects um, that I sell in my Ravelry shop and offer for free on my blog. Um, first I want to show you how when I work with the size 3 thread how I weave in the ends. Uh, if I've used a magic circle as I have or an adjustable ring at the center of this motif then I like to uh, knot that. So what I do is since I started the project with one yarn tail I pull it tight to make sure it's as tight as I can get it and then the yarn tail that is at the end of the work I weave back down to the beginning. Now I like to use a yarn needle that's much smaller than your typical yarn needle. Here you have your typical yarn or tapestry needle that you can use to weave in ends and it works great for size 3 or size 4 yarn medium weight acrylic yarn but it's a little bit too big I think for working with thread. So I find ones that are slightly smaller as far as the opening of the eye and uh, they're nowhere near as wide so that when you weave through you actually don't risk ruining your crochet stitches. Sometimes you can find them in the sewing section under embroidery needles. So I take the end yarn tail that's at the edge of my work and I thread this tail through the back side of the stitches so you can't see them on the front all the way up to that beginning yarn tail and I remove the needle so now you see I have the two yarn tails right next to each other and now I can tie a nice strong overhand knot so I do one and then two overhand knots and then you just want to be careful if you pull it too tight you might scrunch up your project and now I know that that magic circle is not going to open up or slip out and then I just use that needle again to weave about an inch or so maybe two inches weave it up through the bottom there of that last row of stitches. It's nice and thick and easy to hide. And then I just cut the thread right off where it comes out. And I would do that again with the other yarn tail. From the beginning I like to go the other direction sometimes it adds some bulk when you have yarn this small every little thing can sometimes show up so I just go the other direction to spread it out go through again the bottom of that those end that last row pull it so nothing's pulled too tight Now because we will be stiffening these motifs, the glue from the stiffener will, all, will also help to keep all these ends from unraveling. And this of course is the back side of both of the motifs. This would be the front. So I'm going to move these needles out of the way. What I do is I put my uh, iron on a high setting, cotton or linen even, and make sure that it's on full steam. I turn the motifs over so the right side is facing down and then I hold my iron can you see it? might be too close to the camera but I hold my iron about mm, an inch or two over the motifs and then press the steam button not sure if you can see there's lots of steam coming out in puffs but I never press 
the iron down onto the motifs. I'm going to do this just a couple times. Be careful, it's really hot. And then you can feel the dampness on the motifs like this. And this is where I, while they're damp, I just press them out. I have them sitting on a, a cotton pressing cloth, but I also use just a nice smooth towel. And underneath, I have a piece of cork board, but you can use foam core or cardboard. Um, because you're not pressing the iron down, it's not going to get extremely hot. And if you feel like the fibers haven't relaxed enough, you can repeat that with the iron. And then I like to flip them back over so the right side is facing up. And if you need to, you can use some pins to hold these spaces open and extend out your motif so all the spaces are even and the loops have been pulled out and stretched into a nice flower shape and you can do that for both of them. And then I just let it dry overnight so I'm sure that it's completely free of any dampness and then I move on to the next step which is stiffening. That'll be in the next video.